Shalom from Jerusalem. In our week's parsha, Acharei Mos, we are given over the laws of how the high priest has to enter into the most holiest spot of the world, the Kodesh HaKodeshim, the Holy of Holies, when he brings his service on Yom HaKippurim, the Day of Atonement. That's right. The Torah tells us in our Pasha, With this shall Aaron come into the sanctuary, with young bull for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering. Our commentaries bring up that this is talking about when Aaron would enter into the Holy of Holies. That's right. Not done every day. Not permitted every day. In fact, the Holy of Holies was a very special place where the high priest would enter only once a year. Only on the Day of Atonement. That's right. And if a priest just happened to wander in, well, he would be chayav mita, worthy of death. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of place it was. In fact, with the different levels of holiness that we find on the Temple Mount, there's absolutely nothing that compares with the Holy of Holies. And for that reason, the commandments and the service that was done only by the high priest, no less. Not by any other priest, not just a regular priest. He can't enter. Only the high priest could enter in purity, after being separated from the community and his house for seven days, having tremendous preparations for this day and moment, because he will enter into the Holy of Holies in order to atone for the Jewish people. That's right. Just try to imagine people walking in and out, Grand Central Station type of atmosphere. Not happening over there. Sure, in the temple, the regular service with the priests, the Kohanim, bringing the daily sacrifices, bringing sacrifices that other people were brought. Sure, in the courtyard. But the Holy of Holies? Certainly off limits. For everybody. Except on the Day of Atonement, of course and by the high priest during the service. Now, we find an interesting law about this, and that is bringing down from the Rambam, Maimonides, who takes it from the Talmud, that when they were constructing the temple, the Beit HaMikdash, you would try to find the purest of workers, especially when you get to that area, now, when we are dealing with the area of the sanctuary and the Holy of Holies, obviously, what could we expect? The high priest himself would probably have to build the sanctuary, the Holy of Holies, for sure, because he's the only one who's allowed to go in there. Makes sense, right? But that's not the case. Not the case at all. In fact, the Rambam brings down over here that we go in to the entire sanctuary area to check. It may need some light construction. It may need something to be fixed. You bring workers in, like any other building that needs to be upkept, to have maintenance. You have the maintenance workers. Huh. Surely they must be very spiritual people. The Rambam tells us, get Kohanim priests who are pure. That's the best thing. But hey, is every priest, every Kohen, is he an engineer? Has he gone to school and learned how to build and how to construct and how to put together and how to upkeep? Does he know welding? Does he? Hmm. Not everyone does. The Rambam writes, well, if you can't get priests who are pure, get priests who are unclean. <laughs> what could you do? Hey, and you know what? If there is no priests available, if there's no Kohanim who could actually do the construction, the Rambam points out, get Levites. And if there's new Levites, get Yisrael, regular workmen, regular Jews from the tribes. Even in the Kodesh HaKodeshim, even in the Holy of Holies. That's right. Get the best 
people to construct and to upkeep the sanctuary, because that's what it's all about. And if he's not the high priest, if he doesn't know building technique, then get someone who does. Even if he's unclean into the Holy of Holies. Hey, but just a moment ago we were talking about from our Parsha, about the, 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 the greatness of going in to the Holy of Holies, and that was done only by the high priest, and only through a special day on the Day of Atonement, huh? and only through the service. Yeah, when it's the service. But when you have to construct, and you have to upkeep, then get the best you can. Even if you're walking in to the Kodesh Kodeshim. That's right. Joe the Plum is walking in, because it's got to be done. How could that be? And the answer is, is that the Torah and its commandments were given over for us to do. That's the nature of an, a, a commandment. A tzivoy, a commandment, is a command. Meaning that if it was something that's not in our hands to do, it would not be commanded to the Jewish people. And so if there is a command to construct a sanctuary, to build an altar, to bring sacrifices... Obviously, it's in our hands to do, and you do the best that you can in order to fulfill it. You don't sit around and wait, like all the waiters are doing out there in Muncieville. You don't wait around, huh? It's the Holy of Holies. Oh my gosh, how can we construct it? How can we upkeep it? What are we going to do? How can we enter there? Huh? God doesn't want us to do it. Well, wait. Wait, the waiters. We've been waiting 2,000 years. What's another couple hundred years for us? <laughs> no. If it's a command and was given to the Jewish people to fulfill, then it can be fulfilled. As the Rambam points out over here, use a Kohen, you don't have a Kohen, use a Levite. You don't have a Levite, use a Yisrael. You have people pure, use them. You don't, use someone who's unpure. Get the job done, though. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the Parsha is teaching us over here. Aaron going in the most holiest day. Yes, purity. Yes, atoning for the Jewish people once a year. Otherwise, it was off limits. Yes. Yes. But when it comes to upkeep and maintenance and construction, get the people in there. Get the job done. Build the temple. Build the altar. Because that's what God wants from us. Doesn't want the waiters. Doesn't want them anymore want the doers. The doers. I'm Levi Chazan from Yeshiva Trayon HaYudi in Yerushalayim. To the doers.